I am an insecure and pathetic child. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Hey, I hope y'all are having a great day because it's not going to be very good when we get done with this video here today. And this is especially the case if you are a gamer who happens to play on the PC. And that's because tonight when I was scrolling through YouTube, I came across this gem, this absolute diamond of a YouTube video, and it's called PC Gamers Suck. And as a PC gamer myself, reading that title just made me enraged, and I just have to figure out why us PC gamers just simply suck. So without any further ado, sit back, relax, grab your PC, grab your cannon, and get ready to launch that shit into the atmosphere. Hello again, I am Blunty, and this is an open letter to PC gamers. Wait, really? A letter just for us PC gamers? I wonder what positive things he's gonna have to say about us. And down in the left hand corner of the screen it said, TLDR, you're acting like a shithead, stop it. Yes. Dear PC gamers, why are such a great number of you complete clattering shit stains on the hotel sheets of life. I like the fact that you claim that PC gamers are acting like shitheads, but yet you open up this video just insulting people who decide to play on the PC. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna have to side with the PC gamers on this one. Why is it that every single console gaming related blog, news post, news story, or YouTube video I come across, I will unerringly inevitably find many of your number spewing forth your pathetic embittered claims of being superior. The reason for this is is because people like to argue on the internet. And this is nowhere near exclusive to PC gamers. I mean, you look at like an Xbox post on Twitter or a PlayStation post and you'll immediately see the Xbox and PlayStation fanboys attack the other piece of plastic and call their console superior. I mean, what do you even want me to say, dude? Motherfuckers like arguing on the internet. What are you even doing there? Your statements have made it pretty clear that you're a PC gamer. Wait, you mean to tell me that people who go into console-related posts and blogs and stuff like that and talk about how PC is superior happen to be PC gamers? Well, you could have fooled me, man. I mean, what are you gonna tell us next? Water is wet, the sky is blue, grass is green. And for the one guy typing about how, well, water's not actually wet because- Come close to the, uh, screen real quick. Just- just lean your face in close to the screen. You're part of the PC gaming master race, and you've no interest in console gaming, the plebs. Never mind that the term PC gaming master race was originally coined by Ben Croshaw, also known as Yahtzee, or just the zero punctuation guy, as a way to mock and deride your pathetic self-important attitudes. I'm starting to think this guy did like a full-on research paper about PC gamers. Like, who actually knows all this shit? Like, I promise you the moron that came down in your comment section on your Xbox-related video who said, LOL shithead, my PC is better, doesn't know or care about any of this stuff that you're talking about. He's off playing his, I don't know, Gary's mod and having a good time while you're sat here doing an entire coping session about it. That's right, morons. You've claimed as a badge of honor a phrase that was custom built to ridicule you for that exact same attitude, you colossal billicks. And yet, there you are, always and without fail, anywhere console gaming is being discussed, you storm in, uninvited and unwelcome, shouting without any reason or provocation about your self proclaimed supremacy that the so-called true gamers game on PCs. Dude, you can hear the salt in this guy's voice as he speaks. Also, yeah, those people are idiots. They're fanboys. They're gonna say stupid things. Don't take them seriously. Like, if I'm talking about my new Xbox Series X and Shitmuncher49 comes down into my comment section and says, LOL, I have a 3090. You're poor, bro. Get your money up. Am I really gonna care? No. And I sure as hell am not gonna judge the entire platform of PC gaming because of what one or two people have to say in a comment such and on a YouTube video or blogs. You'll rabbit on about resolutions and frame rates and that you can build a more powerful gaming rig for less money than a typical console costs. And by that fact alone, somehow you then draw a line of logic directly to the point of what? that makes it more fun to play games on? You <laughs> got most logic. 
chances are you're not going to be able to build a PC for less money than like the Xbox Series S and have it be more powerful. However, let's just say that was the case for a second. If you were to play on a PC that costs you less than a Series S at a higher resolution and frame rate, it would absolutely be more fun. I mean, would you rather play a game at 720p 30fps or 4k 60? And for the one guy down in the comment section saying, well, actually, I prefer to play at 30fps. 30fps is superior to s Why do you even care that other people make different hardware choices than you have? The exact same question could be asked to you. I mean, you made an entire YouTube video called PC Gamers Suck. When it comes to playing video games, why are you so incensed by people having choices? Why are you so threatened that you go out of your way to hunt down blogs and news forums and YouTube videos completely focused on a side of gaming you claim to have no interest in just so you can storm in and shout at everyone there about how much better you are than they are? I mean, that is quite literally what you're doing in this video, my man. You made a video called PC Gamers Suck. You could have named it PC Fanboys Suck or PC Elitists Suck, but no, you named it PC Gamers Suck as a whole. I like how you're gonna make an entire YouTube video telling people you shouldn't attack people based on what platform they play on while you do that the entire video. I mean, come on, how fucking fragile does your ego have to be to behave like that? I mean, how fragile does your ego have to get to rage at PC gamers as a whole because one PC gamer said something about your favorite piece of plastic? How insecure and pathetic are you that the only way you can feel justified in the choices you've made that you spend so much time and effort trying to be a shithead to anyone who made a different choice about playing video games for fuck's sake? Video games! It's not serious business, people! If it's not that serious, then why are you making an entire video molding, seething, and coping about it? Imagine, just for a second, imagine how much more pleasant and fun you'd be if instead of burning all this time and energy and arrogant indignation on, I don't know, playing video games instead of whining about them. Or maybe you don't have to play videos, maybe you just spend that time not being a dick to other people. Now, when it comes to the PC elitist, he has a point here. Like, there are some PC players out there who will buy a brand new gaming PC, and they will spend their entire time on that PC arguing with motherfuckers on Reddit. So he has a point, like, why don't those people, you know, use that PC that they spent so much money on? But this subset of PC gamers does not represent the platform as a whole. Here, I'm, I'm trying to indicate how much of a wanker you're being about, of all things, video games. This man is unironically using the term wanker to describe people. Dude, I can't even take this shit serious. I've been gaming for three decades now, since I was five. So you mean to tell me that you're 35 years old and you're this upset over what people on the internet have to say about PC versus console gaming? Like, I assure you, all these people doing this console war slash PC elitism shit are not grown adults. Dude, you're arguing with children. And I don't remember this idiotic PC gamer arrogance from most of gaming's history, uh, either from the times I've been predominantly console focused, or the other times when I've leaned more heavily towards PC gaming. Yes, I've been both. Shocking, I know. Maybe it's rose-colored glasses. Maybe gamers of my generation were just wiser. This is like some peak boomer logic right now. Back in my day, PC gamers were much more wise and intelligent. Like, dude, that's not the case. It's just the fact that social media was nowhere near as popular as it is now. Smarter, better. Maybe it's just the internet in general and its repulsive keyboard warrior culture of smack talking pussies that has grown within it, which has turned all discussions of pretty much anything into pointless, childish shouting matches. I mean, that's quite literally what this video is, except nobody's shouting back at you. You just for some reason decided to set up your camera, sit down on your couch, and yell for 10 minutes about how much you hate PC gamers because of what 3% of the PC gaming population have to say on some, I don't know, subreddit. Now, I see the value in PC gaming. Certain control types are just better with a keyboard and mouse. 
Steam sales often produce amazing value, which makes many gamers very happy, and all of the crap PC gamers like to wave about, yes, I know, I understand it, but this behavior, this obnoxious douchebaggery of bursting into a room and screaming at everyone there about how fucking superior you are is just sad. And he's not wrong about this. These people out there who actually do burst into every room where people talk about their console and go, well, my 3070 is the greatest thing to walk the land since Jesus Christ himself. Like those people are annoying as fuck. I don't disagree with them there. You see that, don't you? You gotta cut it out, guys. It's pointless. You'll never change anyone's mind by acting like that for a start. You'll never even open up any meaningful type of discussion of any worth at all. All you do is light up a big neon sign above your head that says, I am an insecure and pathetic child. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Well, I just found the opening to the video right there. And yes, I agree with you. People who do that type of shit, who scream about how their 3070 is the second coming of Christ, are childish but it is also childish to have an entire coping session because one guy on youtube said that his pc is superior to your xbox and even if you think you're only doing it to troll only acting like a jerk off and acting like a jerk off is not difficult i mean you're right it isn't difficult and this video that you made proves it it's not something to be proud of, no matter how you try and frame your trolling attempts. And actually, come to think of it, this rant in its majority can apply almost unchanged to Android fantards, who do the same thing. They storm around hunting down iPhone and iPad related posts and videos to do the exact same thing. Once again, he makes another point that I will have to agree with. I hate those people that go around and talk about how their phone is superior to the other phone. You will often see them in comment sections talking about how their iPhone or their Samsung is the best thing in the world and the other phone is a piece of shit. And they'll talk about how every single night they put their iPhone charger or their Android charger up their butthole. It's pathetic. Or vegans, for that matter. Those annoying can't wait to play a game of nonsensical self-satisfied self moral superiority also. Alright, you know what? Maybe this guy isn't half bad. And before I get one of the angry vegans down in my comment section, bro, it's just a joke. You're all a bunch of no-life dickheads. Get a life, get some perspective, get some calm. Just enjoy the thing you like enjoying without trying to tear down things that other people enjoy. See what I'm saying here? It's very, very simple in concept. And that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. I think the video would have been fine if he just titled it something like PC fanboys are annoying or something like that instead of talking about PC gamers as a whole. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hop out of here. Peace.